Okay, so I'm getting my, you know, I got my GitLab um, continuous integration, continuous deployment configuration file. Basically, what this does is it builds the Java applet, and then it goes through these different stages. It runs, <coughs> runs local tests. Once the local test, which there's actually three jobs, it does like a smoke test to see if it loads just by doing to see uh, it's up. Then it does like a code quality test and it exports the uh, port under build, adds it as a artifact, and then it runs unit tests, um, which also puts the uh, J unit output under reports into these artifacts. After that, moves on to the deploy stage where it actually deploys, uploads the, uh, the build output to Amazon S3, and then it deploys it to an Elastic Beanstalk uh, application in AWS. Once the application is um, deployed, it waits for 45 seconds, and then it uh, checks, does a basic smoke test to see if it's up. Then it goes to production API testing, where it runs a um, a postman command line uh, script of some basic API tests using the production environment. So we have the production environment, which gives us the Elastic Beanstalk URL, which is then populated into this API tests, where it uh, hits all these different APIs and looks for failures. It's expecting responses of 200. So I'm going to commit my message. So I updated output to publish. Finally, final step in this deployment process is the publishing part. And this is where it will publish a page into GitLab with a report output. Um, this is this section here of the deployment. So I'm pushing the change. So there we go. So we are now at our repository and it's already popped up and it's running the pipeline. So let's take a look at the pipeline. So we're going to build when we do our three test processes or three test jobs, those run in parallel. After all those pass, then it goes on to the deployment stage, runs the API uh, tests against the production published URL, and then it publishes the outputs of the reports. So we can look inside of the job right now, and we can see that it's, it's starting the, these are the commands that it's running, and then underneath the commands, it actually has the output commands. So right now it's still in the build process. Building, building, building. So it's built it. Now it's running a, a local server. And it's going to do its quick little test to see if, that if it's online. Now it's publishing the artifacts of the output. The actions were executed successfully. And it's uploading the artifacts from the build process. And that is it for the build process. Let's see. So you can see, oh, build already passed. Now it's running tests. Let's take a look. So you can see right now it's running all three of these different jobs in parallel. And each one of these is its own container. So I can look at the code quality test container. It's running on this Docker container, running those cold code quality tests. Here is my environment. Now, as soon as this thing goes, uh, passes those tests, it'll deploy this application and the health status should change on this while it's deploying. Smoke test is complete. Running 
the unit test, running the code quality. Take a look and see. Now Elastic Beanstalk is, um, let's see. It's basically a application deployment. So right now we only have one uh, free tier server that's running on this Beanstalk, but these are set up to automatically scale. So if it needed more traffic, it would spin up more instances automatically. Shut up! So it's moving on to the deployment phase. Let's take a look at that process. Launching a new container for the deployment, and this container uh, has built in the Amazon command line built into it. And the credentials for the API keys and the AWS are set via um, environment variables under groups. Right now it's copying the artifact to AWS S3, has the output of the new uh, file, and now it is deploying that ap updated application into um, Elastic Beanstalk. So, so now we can see that the environment's being updated. Update complete. That takes a couple seconds to deploy the new application in the environment. Everything's already back. It's deployed the new version of the application. Health is green. And we have a manual up set up, so it's already waited the 45 seconds. Now it's running its little smoke test to see if it can ping the URL, and that job succeeded. So now it's running on to the final test, which is the post deployment test. Ran through all those tests, everything's Generated good. It's uh, added those XML reports to the artifacts. And the final stage is publishing the output of the job run. Now we can go here and we can download code quality artifacts, unit test artifacts, pages artifacts. So now it's completely done. Of the jobs now we have jobs tests you can see that for tests you can see api tests that ran unit tests if i click on the unit test it actually says the, it'll show you um, each one of the unit tests that were run api tests so all that's in there So under publishing, um, you publish this page, this report section, um, which ends up going under let's see, pipelines, publishing past. So under settings, once pages is enabled, it'll show up under pages. And then it publishes this nice report. Of the unit tests, nation, plus example of the dashboard. And these are just all the sanity checks um, based on the Postman unit tests to the production environment. 